Sterling Models and Saldo SVA5 19 inch wingspan, a kit from about 1965 66. These kits are about probably like four dollars. I don't see a price on this one. It was purchased a uh, new old sock. It used to have interesting features. Here's one that says something interesting. Drops uh, leaflets in flight. And Saldo was an interesting plane. It actually uh, had good performance uh, statistics, but it wasn't that good for combat, so it was used for reconnaissance and propaganda leaflet. Take a look here. It's a nice little shot of the side. Okay. And we'll go ahead and basically you have the die cut balsa here. And a little spinner. And the pilot and the uh, one additional look at the um, pilot figure you get. You have to cut it in half, it looks kind of cheesy. I usually don't put them in there, I don't really build these, but um, it adds a lot of weight. Kind of bickers or some type of machine gun. Of course, what would decals be without instructions? I don't see any date on this. It has a zip code, so it's probably after 1963, probably 60, 67, 66. These decals are so beautiful, I had to take a better lit up shot. Let's take a close look at the rampaging horse. How do you like that? Very nice, huh? Beautiful colors here. Uh, kind of nice because um, if you ever lose a part, let's take a look at the fuselage. You can tell. You can actually uh, copy the part. Same parts for the wings too. This looks like a uh, an old historic picture of the aircraft and what it would look like once it's built. So you have this. Let's go ahead and turn it over. And bingo! You recognize this from the box art? Okay. Like that. And then for the brave people, a long time ago used to put a little, uh, probably for free, free flight, looks like a Cox O2OTD engine. Actually, TD's higher performance. Here's some historic pictures of the plane. Okay, here's a little static view. And then we have all the rubber bands stuff in there. These are control surfaces, which you would use for radio control. Radio control. Here's the actual rubber band with the leaflet dropping. Here's the final assembly. There you go. The, it looks like a plastic molded vacuum form characters. You cut them and paint them as necessary. Some uh, wheels and then the prop hubs, spinners, hard, this is the hardware. The uh, landing gear strut. Now this is kind of funky. You probably want to paint this if you're going to fly this. There's like probably 40 year old tissue paper. More tissue paper. And now the most important part, the Sterling Guarantee, the 50 cent service charge. How do you like that? Here's the rubber band for the rubber band motor, it's old too. And here you have, looks like some uh, clear parts. I've never seen this before, this has been the windshield. Uh, here is an example of Uh, probably parts for the uh, the body. They're identified by numbers according to the plan. And it's a bunch of miscellaneous stringers per se. And that's the rest is kind of the same. Now the plan is take a shot here. There you go. All right, as we open the box to the kit here, some nice, beautiful water slide decals. Go ahead and put those there. We have the plans. I'll open them up on the look. Action feature in flight, propaganda leaflets.
There you have it.